Welcome to iBad Worse and today I'm trying Sam Smith's Nut Brown Ale. A little bit nervous because I'm so excited. So this apparently is the holy grail of brown ales. Not had it before, uh, picked it up uh, when I was in York at Trembling Madness. It's a 5% 550ml. Um, mm, really excited. Um, Madam Director has just thrown a flake at me. So, you know, what well, is that a reflection of my pouring? Because, you know, I'll put a head on it enough to, you know, have a flake in. I am waffling. Okay, so just reading the back of the bottle, and it does say that it's drawn from well water that they've been using since 1758. Um, and I've long said, or long held the belief, should I say, that water is everything when it comes to beer, which is why when they get if a beer gets bought out by a mega brewery and moved, the flavour can change. So this is supposedly the real deal. I am waffling. Let's get it open and give it a go. Um, mm, what are we getting here? Okay, so just trying to pour it. Concentration. So it's quite fizzy, quite lively. Doesn't say that it's bottle conditioned. I'm not opening that flake. This is atrocious head, but I'm not opening that flake. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Alrighty, so we have mm, a chestnut nut brown ale. Okay. Mm, it's quite dark from here. Just quite dark. Yeah. There is light, if I can sort of hold that up. Oh yeah. Is that yeah, better? That's better. Yeah, so it is a lovely colour. Oh. First impression, chocolate, cream, yeasty, just a really inviting aroma. Okay. Cheers everybody. Wow. Okay. So the flavour, the flavour. I don't know what's wrong with me. Can't speak. The mouthfeel is much thinner than I was anticipating. I thought it would be sort of thick, soupy, uh, but it's uh, on the thin side for me. But you know, uh, not not watery. You don't feel short change like you do when you get some sort of beers. You think. Oh. But you know, but it, I like that a bit thicker. Lovely bitterness. The sort of washes that, and then fading to a little bit of multi sweetness on the back. Bit of cop. There's a few copper notes in there as well. Chocolate. Very subtle sort of chocolatey malt is what I'm getting. Now I did look on the back, I try not to, but I did look on the back. Um, and it does say, da, 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 a palette of beech nuts, almonds and walnuts. I'm not getting that. What I am getting is a bloody good beer. Everything they've said, um, about this, or I've talked to you know like Brett uh, from BDB Reviews, um, a couple of other guys, uh, and they've said this is the one. If you like brown ales, this is the one you need to get, and uh, they were not wrong. They were not wrong. Okay. Well, we can't get it around here. Can we? No, I, I we, I've looked everywhere for it. You can get it online, um, and I am just a tight wad. They were quite reasonable, I think, um, but I didn't want to buy lots of. Uh, they come in 12s and things. Um, if I buy from a brewery, I like to buy a mixed selection because if you've not had something before, just to get one, you buy 12. If you don't like it, you've got a few. Don't be 12. Yeah. Or 11. Yes. Um, so, uh. oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, yeah. 
I'm so chuffed. It's uh, what, I, what can I say? It's difficult to describe when you're smiling and uh, you know. Excellent. Okay, I think this is banging. Is it the best beer I've ever had on the channel? It's one of, one of. Okay. Ooh, getting a little bit of licorice on the back. I have to go back in again. All I'm going to say, complex flavours, bloody lovely. Okay, over to you guys. Have you tried it? Did you like it? Did you know like it? Um, mm, well, while I was there, I also picked up an Imperial. Um, so if this is a benchmark, that one is going to be absolutely banging. <laughs> Cheers.